We never turn to Let's Play Vernum. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do before we go anywhere. I'm gonna talk to Grimmit here about repairing stuff. Darman. <clears throat> okay, I don't think that question was there before. Uh can you repair anything? Fort Draco. Okay, so never mind. Actually, while I'm here, I'd like to sell something. Uh, this broken sword is useless to me. Okay, I wanna, I wanna try something first. Actually, you can, you can have that. Okay, <clears throat> so this flawed crystal. I've got a couple of these. I'm going to take that and the lovely crystal. And now let's talk to him. I'm only getting 12 out of these. That <laughs> really sucks. So let's sell everything in the bag. Maybe. <laughs> no, I don't think I need that bar of iron just yet. Okay, I actually got some money out of that. Ah, right. I... Okay, I sold two. Two of those crystals. And I only got 12 coins out of it. I don't think I understand what's going on here. Anyway, let's get out of here. Uh, okay. Well, all this other crap is up here. I'm thinking of going back to Silvar and stealing. <coughs> stealing the iron, stealing all that other stuff. You know what? Let's forget it for now, unless it proves to be... what the hell is that? I don't know, but let's talk to these guys who are running away. There's a lizard man running away. Let's see if we can engage him. Come back here, coward. You encounter a lone creature lost and desperate. It's a reptilian humanoid, the size of an adult human wielding a large two-tined spear. This must be one of the infamous and dangerous Slith's Zerakai. When it sees you, it doesn't bother to speak. Instead, it emits a vicious hiss and charges you. This was a good idea. Oh god. I'm encumbered? Wow. This might be a terrible idea. Did no damage? Oh, I missed him. I was gonna say... This could be really bad. Missed? Let's do some magic. I'm not sure if they have resistance to magic. It didn't do too much damage. Damn. Well, it doesn't help that uh, he keeps doing that. Very nice. The Slith Spear. Well, I'll pick that up. Anything else on the ground? It's over here. Apparently nothing. End combat, okay. I'm encumbered? I am. Um, how the hell... 
because no 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 let's give that to her then plus two percent oh it's much better then because it has a plus two percent chance to hit and does the same damage so what Why? What the f Is it my coins? Is my money weighing me down? Because that would be ridiculous. I actually have to give up something. It's gonna have to weigh more than two pounds to... Take the pants off. It's not as exciting as it sounds. You know what? I think. Oh, that's not even. It doesn't even weigh anything. I don't want to give up anything. Maybe if I gave up, uh. Some fish? Well, uh, let's not actually give that up completely. What the shit? I mean, I was carrying that crap, and it weighs stuff, so why is that... Do I have to really close that to make it happen? What the shit? Does it really actually mean something on my body? Because that is freaking ridiculous. How close am I to another... I'm pretty close, so maybe I can boost up my strength skill. I won't have to worry about it. Uh, you see a homestead ahead by a small lake. Smoke is rising from it. From here, you can't tell if the smoke is coming from a bonfire or a house fire. Let's investigate. You approach the farm and find a ruin. What is more, it's been a ruin for some time. The smoke came from an unattended bonfire left there to lure you in. As you turn to leave, you see the approaching bandits. Damn! The goblin flinger. There's a lot of goblins. Holy crap. Let us charge. Nice. I should probably try and stop the goblins first, seeing how they're ranged. And uh, let's try a daze. How many can I get in this? Not enough. But maybe I can get uh, more than a few. Damn, I freaking hate that. Well, let's use one of these. I missed, god damn it. Oh my god, kill them. Get get up here. There. They're still dazed. I like that. Okay, there is something on the ground. Okay, I can take those. 
And a stick. Don't need the stick. Nice. Well, he leveled up. Anything else? Any camp? No. You enter and search the house, afraid of what you might find. Fortunately, there are no signs of violence inside. The owners of the house must have fled before the bandits arrived. So is that, uh, that quest done? I guess not. It's just a random encounter. Okay. Well, in that case... I will definitely want to put that in then. If I wanted to work towards cave lore and that sort of thing. I don't know, I feel like I should just be constantly putting him towards uh, his stuff here. Oh yes, I was going to put Lethal Blow. I can't put in two. Let's do that then. Okay. Quick learning. Increases experience by 5%. Well, that's pretty damn good. Backstab might be nice. Ooh, increase my health. Damn, there's all sorts of good stuff here. As well as just improving my strength. And endurance. Oh, man. I mean, quick learning would just be best to get right now because uh, you know that would enable me to level faster all right quick learning okay so we got uh, a couple places here now looks like that one leads to the Nephilim problem so why don't I go over there? Although, I kind of want to check out over here. That's where the bat swarms are. Well, while we're over here, let's go check this thing on the ground. There's nothing there. I'm still encumbered. Nope, not anymore. I'm almost encumbered, though. That is really stupid. Uh, let's save. There's a way to travel very long distances in an instant. Look for teleportation. Oh, okay, that has absolutely nothing to do with this area at all. There's several skulls. This is very interesting. Now you know what evil dungeons are like before they actually become evil dungeons. Their humanoid la this humanoid layer is still under construction. You would guess that the Nephilim will live here eventually, and they have put goblins to work to do all the heavy lifting. You had both races on the surface, and the smaller were often forced to work by the larger. From inside, you can hear the sounds of tools striking stone and the harsh voices of the goblins. It is in your power to put a quick end to their labors. Wow. Okay. Well, now these guys... There's uh, one goblin flinger. So why don't I try and take them from the range here? Um, blessing of protection. Can't reach the target. Well, why don't you get closer? 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> you are shitting me. I've blocked my way here. Fan freaking tastic. Great. Well, that is totally what I need to have to deal with. Can I get you over here? Yes. And then that takes up all your turns. Uh fuck. Well, what about here then? Or uh, the warrior, I think, would probably be... And I missed. some of this. Increase the strength. Um, I'm thinking... Doing that. Okay, now I should have quick learning as well. Sure hand, though, increases my chance to hit by 5%. Uh, quick learning. For now, that is most important. Well, we'll keep going down intelligence. Uh, magic. Probably should put one in there. First aid. And, uh, increase priest spells. Okay. Quick learning for you as well. Uh, you need an endurance before things go really bad for us. I feel like I should give that as well. And quick learning. Okay. Oh boy. Now let's just see what's here first. Everyone's got a belt right now. Yes, and uh, that's actually worse. Oh boy, there's a lot of crap over there. Let's hope I don't get absolutely swarmed, because that would be no fun at all. Well, why don't you get closer? You are kidding me. Whoa! A Nepho. That's no good. God damn it. Another belt and another useless cloak. 
Okay, well, they all seem to be coming from this way. I thought there was another one. Missed. Why don't you just run up there? It's a great idea. Why didn't I think of it? That was an even better idea. Having my healer run up there and take it in the face. Damn it. Javelins. I think you need some javelins. Can't get there. Inthek. You meet a human in tattered armor. He is clearly underfed, and the goblins have beaten him as well. He is, unsurprisingly, thrilled to see you. A rescue at last. I am Hinthek. Is it safe to flee? What are you doing here? Why do you have a bow? Why did they leave you with a weapon? I have a lot of money right now. I should go back and buy some crap. Uh, I was part of a group that raided these caves. We thought they didn't know we were coming, but they must have seen us. Because they nailed us when we entered the main cave. I don't know what happened to the others. Uh, how many were in your group? There were ten of us. A bunch of them died in the ambush. Others hid in the tunnels. This place is riddled with hidden passages. Uh, I gotta keep out for, keep an eye out for that. Uh, two of us were captured. Only I lived. Hidden passages? The goblins have built a few hidden doors. Look for spots of weird color on the walls, then push them. Uh... Well, consider yourself freed. Thank you. I will never forget your help, he thinks. You know, I heard one of them mention something about a shaman in one of the back rooms, and about a key it was guarding. Just thought you'd want to know. Damn. Last time I faced a shaman... It's no fun. He flees from the cell, moving towards the exit as fast as he can. You've done your good deed for the day. I really wish I had uh, engaged him in conversation a little longer. I might have learned something. A body. With a gold ring. I will take it. Okay, so now I gotta keep an eye out for all the walls. Won't that be fun? I'm gonna do a lot of quick saving. You notice that an odd discolored outcropping of stone is sticking out of the wall nearby. You are tempted to push it and see what happens. Hmm. Is it? This is a small hidden storeroom. A pile of hammers, sacks of cement, and other building supplies sits in the corner. Hey -o. Nothing that I need, unfortunately. So, that's it. Great. Okay. Oh! There's the shaman. Uh, wouldn't you know... I would come face to face with him first. Damn it! I couldn't walk the three freaking squares. Son of a bitch. Well, let's try that shaman first and way to stand right in that. God damn it. Oh, I can actually walk through people. I didn't know that. Well, so much for the shaman. So much for the goblin. Broken sword, tongs, pincers. Clearly they are making something here, but is there anything good? There's nothing, and I can't interact with that shelf. That is really disappointing. Hmm. What? because he sees me from up there. 
Well, at least I can hit him from down here. I'll have to go up there. Find out what that's all about. Let's, uh, I can't go into that corner, okay. Let's head down here and see what we find. Trouble. Giant lizards and trash haulers. I can't imagine these are going to be terribly difficult. Uh... The sign says, Grana, Grasna, Crack, Crack, whatever that means. It also has a red X at the bottom. Oh boy. What the hell is your problem, guys? Can you at least pretend that you are competent? Giant Lizard is more of a threat than me. Oh, several giant lizards. Thank you for hitting him, finally. Well, hopefully, uh, that sign is indicating all these giant lizards. And not, like, a, a cave-in, or a hole in the floor, or something like that. Pants? A tunic, and a fine cloak. Man, this encumberment crap is annoying. Mm-hmm. I see another body. Ooh. Plus one percent chance to evade attack. Well, that is much better. And some boots. I think everyone has boots. Yes. That was it. That was it. Oh, giant rats. Oh, shiza. Let's hide over here with the giant rats so we can ambush them. Oh my god, you guys. Freaking suck. Charge! Maybe I can hide there for a turn. Okay, that was pretty easy. Uh, you can just wait here, Mycroft. Cordelia's got this. Very nice. A bronze short. Oh, never mind. That is not what I'm using. And she's just using that as well. Well, let's take it for the junk bag. a lot of good stuff here. A hatchet, but there's meat. And a lamp. I don't really need the lamp. More meat. A pillow. And 
how do I get up there? Clearly there is a hidden wall somewhere that will let me do that. Probably on the other side. Hidden switch is what I mean. Uh, okay, just more of the same crap, apparently. Well, keep your eyes peeled for that switch. What the hell is that? Ah. Giant rats. Many giant rats. Many, many giant rats. And uh, this is not actually going to be helpful because she can't get to the target. So why don't you just come over here, Cordelia? And uh, you're going to have to skip a turn, too? Very nice. Ooh, money. Sandals. Again, that's uh, inferior. Put that in a junk bag. There we go. What goodies do you have? Ooh, yes. Uh, and I don't know. I'm almost encumbered again. That's how ridiculous this game is. I guess I really shouldn't bring this back. I mean, I can bring this back. I really just don't understand the weight system in this game. It just doesn't seem to work how it should. <laughs> okay. Charge! Shit. Um, well, why don't you come up here, and then I will have you... try and kill that flinger. There we go, that's one. Um... Why don't I have you come here, and then... Why must you summon behind me? Oh, shite. Oh. Did I save before this? Because if I didn't, this is going to be a really, really short fight. <laughs> I wonder if that scroll would be appropriate for here. Oh man, all this, all this is in trouble. Nah, that's not gonna do hardly crap. Oh, are you kidding? Maybe I should consider that using the, uh, that scroll. Maybe. I guess if things get really bad here soon, I will. Okay, you, you little fucker. You're gonna have to... Oh, why didn't I use my battle skill? Because I'm an idiot, that's why. Okay, we're taking you out. That worked swimmingly. I gotta heal Mary in here. Very nice. She should be okay until Mycroft gets over here. Yeah, good job. Good freaking job. Very nice. Okay, 
Let's uh, kill the Nephil first. We need another heal. Take all this, please. Missed. It's a lot of missing here. There's still this warrior over here. We gotta watch out for that. Let's see what we've got on the ground first. Crude broadswords. Okay, you know what? Actually, I'll come back and deal with that in a minute. But uh, for right now, we need to do something about that. knows how much else is over there. Hopefully not a lot. Okay, crude javelins. Who needs a few more? Wow, that was uh, perhaps too many to give to her. Nothing over here. Let's head back. Aha, okay. The Scroll of Radiant Ice. You get that again. Okay, plus 5% chance to hit. Okay, and it, so it, it's like a swinging damage then. So it, it does less damage than my current short sword, but in the end, it's actually going to be better. And I'm currently encumbered. fan freaking -tastic. Okay, well... that actually be good for him at all? Maybe it would. Maybe I should give him that as well. Seriously, why... why do I keep filling up on crap? Let's get rid of that rope. That still doesn't seem like it's going to leave him unencumbered at all. No. I'm, I'm really just going to have to get rid of something he's wearing. Like, he's going to have to stop having... a belt. But it's armor plus 2%. I mean, it'd be one thing if it was just like 2 points, but it's 2%. Well... Bastards. Save... Head in here. No, not that. I meant the chest. Healing potion. Why don't you have those? And then no one really needs these pants. Money, a cave wood bow that is worth a lot. Uh, wait a minute now. Okay, so she has the cave wood bow as well. A lot of money, and a sheet of papyrus that is absolutely useless to me. What is on the ground here? And nothing in there. Okay. Bunch of crap. Ooh-hoo. Right, well... That wasn't what I was oohooing about, but, uh... All right. Mm-hmm. There's some writing here, painstakingly scratched into the wall. It reads, Ambushed in Entry Cave, Nephilim and Nephar, two split up. Ran lots of secret tunnels, some hid in them, hope rescue in time. Considering that there's a dead human on the floor under the message, it seems likely that help didn't arrive in time. Let's check the body. Uh, nothing. Now it would appear that I had left an entire section 
unexplored. How did I not go that way? Interesting. Well, I'll have to backtrack. A speed potion. Take it. Uh, what is over here on the ground? Just leather. What about over here? Bow. Okay. This should be the last major room. It is Shaman Dorva. A goblin shaman stands tall. Well, as tall as possible in front of this dark, stained altar. He potters under the weight of all the trophies and carved fetishes he wears. He points down at you from his perch. You human, so arrogant, always think you are killing goblins easy? Well, Shaman Dorva says it's end for you. We fight with Nephilim, and they are tall. The Nephilim warriors standing behind him snarl fiercely. Then they all attack. Um... Before, before this, did I have a potion of something important? I could use that shielding potion, or I could use the speed potion. Why don't I use this? They gave it to me. I imagine it will be very good. Damn it! I couldn't get to it. <sighs> couldn't get to him. I should maybe kill those Nephilim first. Why don't you come in here? And then give everyone that shield buff. And why don't you come in here? I'm thinking of using one of those ice scrolls. That might be really important. And what I should have done actually was summon something. Okay, they've all got shields now too. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, knocked him back pretty nicely. Let me try a daze. Which is what I should have done first. Okay, that, uh, that didn't work. up here and deal with that. And I will call a beast. Giant. No oh boy. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? Managed to get both of them though. That's really nice. Okay, she's got her well aimed blow again. Missed. You bastard. That is a really freaking awesome thing there. That I... I've got the, uh... The ability to hit someone next to someone. It's really cool. Uh, no, actually, let's use a smite. I don't know why I keep having my magic users use non-magical attacks. He's going to need help. She is actually a better archer than a mage. 
the leader of this outpost has been destroyed, along with most of his allies. This is a huge setback for the northern tribes that are fighting Avernum. Wait, but I don't think that actually stopped the fighting yet. Speed potion was pretty good. Damn. Okay, a coated cloak. Plus five fire resistance. Well, why not? Um, I think Cordelia is the only one left without a suitable thing there. Spiritual herbs. Take that. Iron gauntlets. Why not? And, uh, you can take these. And, uh, actually, my craft doesn't need these. Energetic herbs. Okay, I'll take those two. Sandals. Okay. Now, I can't actually check out the, uh, that urn there. Let's go see what's in here. Steel Ward gives your group resistance to physical attacks and acid. Very nice. A mortar and pestle. I don't think that's actually going to uh, allow me to do anything. You look inside the box. There's a bronze key inside on a long loop of lizard skin. You pick up the key and pocket it. It will be used automatically when you reach the door it unlocks. I wonder if that would be this one. No, it isn't. Interesting. So now I've got this door to keep in mind as well. Boy, that's annoying. It's like every place I go, there is a... Uh, there's at least one door I can't unlock. Well, I'm going to assume, then, that the only door left... This cave is clearly used by the residents as a trash pit, and probably a latrine as well. There is filth spread everywhere, and the smell is almost overpowering. I'm going to assume that door... Interesting, I thought the door would have been there. The body of a human has been disposed of here. The only visible wound is a pair of small puncture wounds at his ankle. You aren't sure how he died, but you can see his pouch is still intact. The pouch contains gold, a reasonable amount of it, and a potion as well. However, you now have a good guess of what killed the intruder. Several worms were hiding in the rocks at the edge of the cavern. Bastard. I should have had him attack in the middle so he could abuse his broadsword. Close, apparently. Now he's poisoned. No, she's poisoned. Damn it. It's end of combat. Why does it show Aldous using that ability? Because Aldous doesn't have that priest skill. Okay, anyway, I got another speed elixir, and I don't know how much money I got off that corpse, but, uh... Interesting, so there is a key that unlocks a door that is apparently not that one. Okay, game. You and your freaking pathfinding. Do I have to actually, like, pick up the key and use it? It said it would automatically use it when I found the door. Uh, who has that key, by the way? I guess it's just a non-quest item, and it just sort of 
keeps track of the fact that I picked it up. There's nothing in there, and I, it's not for that door. Frustrating. Okay. Well, it's uh, time to go back to... Fort Dovno, I guess? Because I've got a lot of money now and I can spend it, so uh, I will see you back there. Alright. Now, who actually needed this? I forget. Jason. Who is not this guy? He's down here. Jason Supplies. Uh, okay. That actually wasn't it either. What the hell am I looking at here? The Nephilim problem. Captain Johnson. Damn it. I killed the commander of that goblin fort. Can I get a reward? You tell Johnson of your adventure in the goblin caves, culminating in a hair-raising tale of your battle with the Nephilim commander. Johnson is pleased, though he doesn't act very impressed. Good enough, I suppose. I will get you your reward. Johnson has a spear and a pouch containing a hundred copper coins brought to you. These coins would be worthless on the surface. Here in Avernum, however, they're quite valuable. I rode the battle with the Nephilim. It's still difficult, but we're doing all right. Butchering those goblins helped push them back a little. Soon we'll be able to burn them out of their nests. He looks extremely pleased at this prospect. Okay. Have a look at that. Oh, you know what? There's been a ladder here this whole time. And, uh. Nothing of value? What the hell is this? Disarmed a trap. Oh, wow. Leather greaves. Which, honestly, aren't very good. Irradiate ice and an iron javelin. No one can see me. Minus five chance to hit. I mean, he's got a lot of that crap. He's got a lot of stuff that's just like, oh, now you can't hit for crap. And that over encumbered me. It was not a good idea at all. <sighs> okay. Well, never mind. Maybe... Marion can have it? Marion can have it. And these iron javelins. I think I'll go ahead and give those to Mycroft. Actually, there's no real reason for me to give that to Mycroft. Uh, let's give this iron spear. Yeah, that's a much better thing. I'll take that. Okay. Not bad. Man, it's a good thing I clicked that. I didn't know what a trap looked like in this game. Now I do. And so do you. And I still can't uh, see that. There's nobody in here but a dead person. Now what does that key go to? I wonder if that unlocks this. Why would it? I mean... <laughs> doesn't make sense, but whatever. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I think we're going to do a little bit more kidding out, because uh, we are getting stronger, but so are the enemies. I have a feeling it's not going to be this easy for very much longer. So, next time I'll do that, and I will see you later.